Gentlemen, so uh, introduce yourselves. Craig E, aka Kareem, aka C Mac. Legendary OG Cuddy Mac from West Los Gallus, baby. <laughs> Collectively known as the Soul Brothers. Peace. So, uh, give us some uh, background. How did you guys meet? And how did y'all start the Soul Brothers? That's that guy. Go for it. We, Soul Brothers started in 1986. It started uh, from a cat named Dallas, Dallas Singleton. And it started at LA High School. Dallas went to LA High School. I went to LA High School. V Love went to LA High School. We was each in, in separate dance crews. And um, and then Dallas came to me one day. We had we have we used to have big dance contests in LA. This is the '86 huge dance contest, and we was gonna get in the first one. And the, the biggest dancers at that time was the Romeos or whatever. These cats called the Romeos. And Dallas came to me and said, "Yo, I'm starting this group called the Soul Brothers." After school one day, waiting by the quad, and I was like, "Soul Brothers," and I laughed. It was funny at that time because everybody was like the Gucci boys or the something boys everybody was a boy <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> and we was like the soul brothers I was like man that's dope and we just we just flow from there and the first show we did the first big show was 86 the original members was Dallas who started it Thomas Cedric uh, myself um damn, that was it and, oh Ed and Cedric that was the original members really and V-Love got in because I couldn't do it I was Jehovah's Witness, and my mom put this. Put she put the, the wall on me. Right. You can't dance. <laughs> you can't do the dance and stuff. So I, I stopped. And then and then they got V Love, and then. Oh, so that's why I using that chair in the first room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. I sweated my mom's, and my mom's let me do do the show if my brother did it. So then Ken became a soul brother. So that's how me and Ken got in because I couldn't really get in unless Ken was in there. And then that's how we. And oh, then. So the first routine we did, I was in, I was in the routine, but then they, they kind of put me in on the end, and and then the next routine, that's when I got in, and then, and then Ledge got in the group like, like uh, this was like uh, when we did the we did the, the the school days routine, like this was like eighty. Ledge got in like Ledge got in like eighty. Uh, I almost got in when y'all did Jordan High, but I had to do something that yeah. day. Yeah, Ledge got in like eighty eight. No, Ledge Ledge no, got in the group eighty seven. 87. So it started in 86. Ledge got in like yeah, 87. Late 87. Mm. And then, and, and shoot, we've been going. And then the other dude stopped. Legend, I mean, uh, the other dude stopped. Because we used to dance to fast music. Right. Freak, it's called Freak Beat. Freak right. Beat music. We used to dance like everything was all fast. We had our own little dances we used to do. And then around 80, like 88. Around 88. Down to the four. The four horsemen. Yeah, when 88 came, we started getting into uh, James Brown. We was like only James Brown, really. Like it was just we danced out the whole James Brown records, and then and then, we, and then that's when like hip hop. We was here, we was listening to it, but we wasn't really dancing to it until we started listening to uh, the first song we danced to in hip hop. We, we, routine was KMD, mm -hmm. KMD, and then and um, and Audio did, Two. So y'all did some early Public Enemy, didn't you? Audio Two. Milk is to, to, right. to, that was like the anthem. Like that was like our, you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially for D down, it's like that was like the anthem. Then, then once we got on yeah. once we got on Soul Train. We didn't look at that as hip hop though. We looked at that as cutting our yeah, was, cutting yeah, Mac. We was, we was <laughs> audio it. two was our hip hop to cutting Mac. Right. So we hear audio two, the first thing we do is high step. Right. Yeah. We we wasn't calling it hip hop though. Right. It wasn't even until my space where all of us even learned. And Milk laughed at us that it was like, uh, what is it, MCMI? Yeah. What is it, whatever? We always thought he said MC Shema. So for years, <laughs> for years, we thought MC Shema, people call me there. And he was cracking up just like that. He was like, for real? Right? MC Shema. <laughs> people call me there. <laughs> and I was more cutting back to us than hip hop. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. shit, he yeah. said yeah. MC Shema. <laughs> Oh, we weren't thinking about no hip hop. No, that was oh, great. Cutty Mac. We were just new. We just knew. Even Cassie. uh, what's the Rock Kim the one, the, the first Cutty Mac song? Uh, uh, uh what's the uh? The, talk about uh, Paid in Full. 
No, before that. The, the B side to the second, second Rock Kim single. Oh, yeah. President. Yeah, Eric B. The one president. after that. No, it was Eric B. for President. It was the first, first, song. first That's, one. And, keep, and check out my melody. That one. Check out that my melody. That was the yeah, yeah. R. Cutting Mac shit. That and uh, Milk is Chillin'. Okay. Like I said, so those were straight Cutting Mac songs. They weren't even hip hop to us. And then we, we, <laughs> we were the first ones to do a so called hip hop routine in LA when we performed. We, 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 we did our first. We, we, we introduced hip hop, so called. I hate to use that word hip But we introduced our style boogie to LA. This was like in 88. It was four of us. It was four of us. It was Dwayne, DeFarai, and us, Me, Legend, of V Love. Those were wow, the original DeFarai. four. Right. Yeah. Wow. Those That's were the original four right there. Wow. That was original because Safari. What happened was he had went to um, he went to school Berkeley. He went to Berkeley, and he came back. And when he came back, he was doing all this other shit that he had learned up in Berkeley. Mm. And then the he bay. showed okay. the bay, that he showed us that, and we was doing our own stuff. Because remember, then Legend went to New York, and then Legend came back, and Legend came back he, with the Linus. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, the he came back top. with the Linus and the flat top and his little. He bought like four or five dances back with him. So then we had me and me and Vila was making up dances. The, the dances Legend had, the dances we was doing from the Freak Big era. We just kind of made up all. We just combined everything into right. one. Wow, that's, that's still. I didn't know Jafari was down. Yeah, Jafari was, was, was Dwayne. Dwayne was was one. Dwayne was was the first soul yeah. brother to get in. Yeah, see, he was After always him. our link. He was our double joining guy. Mm -hmm. So that's why we always <laughs> keep an eye on Link because we didn't have Dwayne no more. We was like, damn, he was tall. You know what I'm saying? Slender, same, same exact same, body type, yeah. same yeah. build, vibe, everything. So we was like, damn. So yeah, that's how that went down. Yeah, and then Dwayne, and then Dwayne started rapping, and then he was like, yeah. Like he didn't even acknowledge his dick, his digging no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can always say too. Because like, you ain't that, you ain't that dope of an MC. I mean, you cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> you cool, so, but you ain't a shine. Was you had both? Definitely a better dancer. Right. Definitely. definitely. Oh my god. Definitely. Wait, so did, like I said, he's how, linked. Like you said, same. How did y'all hook up with Def Jeff? When Dwayne left, I think if he wouldn't have left and went to Berkeley, I think we would have stayed just as a group. I tried to do it like the lockers. How we hook up with How we hook up with Tubby? But uh, I was with Groover Ken at Word on Wheels. Yeah. And that was after I came back from New York and school with them. I was like, man, y'all better get with some rappers or something. Y'all want to work. And, so. one, and, then, and then Delicious Vinyl. Delicious Vinyl was looking for dancers because we used to do all Delicious Vinyl. We used to dance for all their artists. Mm. And, they, and one day, Jeff, Jeff came looking for us. You yeah, saw that tape. Yeah, you saw you, we did a show. Did a show. And, um, and we, was already, soul, we was already getting broke yeah, off the show. Yeah, opened up for us. Yeah. And they had the tape of the show. Huh. And Jeff, I had already I had met Jeff with Groover Ken, with Body and Soul member, but he didn't know them cats yet. So we seen the tape, and he saw this move he mm. loved did. He was like, "Who's them dudes? I want them cats." So then we linked up again, and he was like, "Oh, I remember my man from World of Will." Uh, Jeff came over and played his yeah. video, and Jeff came over yeah. and played "Give It Here." Yeah, who was that? Who was like, "Oh." No. Like I said, we had the no <laughs> so only option we had. The only like... options we had, right? But we see before Dev Jeff, we got with Kid Flash. Oh, we my got God. Him strictly because we looking at Taboo, CBS, and yeah. we like saw his budget, his condo, and all that shit. No other rappers was getting that. So we was like, okay, let's fuck with Kid Flash was but horrible. But the only other options we had. Was, <laughs> that yeah, high like fire? Oh, my this, God. Uh, this was what y'all had. Y'all had. Rock Hill. You had the best. Chuck we had, King. we had, yeah. It's all of Brooklyn. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had Kid Flash. Jeff. Young MC. Tone Lope. Tone Lope. <laughs> King T. Jesse James. <laughs> that came later. But those are our only options. Oh, so we had, no, we had Henry Jean Evilly. Yeah. And we had, um, we had Everlast. We yeah. did Everlast video. Yeah. Mm. But as far as, like, making a click, like I mean, dope, Jeff was, like, like the best we could do. We did DOC. Mm. We had DOC. Yeah. Your secret video was dope. I know. Yeah. How did y'all, um, when did y'all start on Dancing on Soul Train? We won that dance contest in 1980. We won a dance contest to get on Soul Train. Oh, wow. They had, a, they had this big dance contest all over LA and everybody got in and we won. And Ski and Rosie and all the da Soul Train dancers, they judged it. Mm. And that's how, that's, that's when we that first day with the Pretty Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they went in with the Pretty Boys. And after that, <laughs> The pretty boy. Yeah. <laughs> they fear a piece of my man. A piece of my man. So, so. That nigga 
Doggy, like the pretty boy. After, after that, Ledger came on board the real squad. Yeah, he joined the real team. Yeah, I was, right I was, after that. I was right with a couple that. of them weirdo groups. I was with the Love Nuts. First, first the Gigolos. See, all listen to listen to the names. I was with the Gigolos, the Love Nuts, Ooh. the Pretty Boys. Ooh. Then because yeah. <laughs> the yeah. took you a minute to get it right up. Huh? I don't like the <laughs> low like nuts. Rappers or dancers, you gotta say your first dance name or something. Because we have some white names, bro. <laughs> wow. So wait, y'all. So they had a contest, and that's how y'all got on. That's Soul how we got on Soul Train. Oh, okay. That changed our life on Soul Train because we hooked up with Ski. Mm -hmm. Once we got on Soul Train, hooked up. Plus we hooked up with the Depths. I mean, you know, we was always yeah. smashing the Depths. That was that was the main. That's the only thing we went on the show was to get with the hugs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why else us. go for the chicken? Yeah, Skeet <laughs> taught us the takeover game. Just take over this motherfucker. Yeah, that's a Skeet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That and that's how we met Stretch when the Stretch came out when yeah. you came on with Dini. Yeah. And remember you came to the Soul Brother party? Yep. Very cat night. I remember? Remember all that? And, and that's how we all got. First met y'all at um at um Fox Hills. What? We was in Fox Hills Mall. Me and Cliff, we ran into y'all. You had the, you had all black. You had the cane. Cliff was like, "Yo, this my, this my man, Craigie, the soul brother." I was like, "All right." And then we was in Fox Hills. This is before we went to do the concert. Damn, that's a ball. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Summer '87. I remember that. Yeah, man. You remember, you remember sitting with Ski, me, you, Ski, Legend, V Love, C Love, at. The Mexican restaurant, the Mexican restaurant right there on the Bray and Pico. Yep. You remember that? Yeah. Everybody was eating. You remember right. that? Yeah. Like, uh, that's, that's right. That's what like, yeah. That's not Chabalitas. That's not Chabalitas. And the question was quiet then. You trying to fill us out? Nah, I mean, uh, I remember the first time in. No, so I was like, uh, I remember when we was, in a, uh, we was in a hotel room, the Le Mondrian. I never oh, forget. I never forget. Le Park. Le Park. Yeah, Le Park. And Stretch was like, you know, Cliff was like, yeah, he has a Stretch, whatever. And you know me, I was like, and then, I, and then Fight the Power was on. Fred Paul just came out, and he was dancing in the room, and I didn't want to look at him dance. I was like talking to you, and I was looking at him thinking like, "Fuck this nigga!" Uh, <laughs> nigga thinking, "Am I? We don't know am I?" This nigga, and I was like, "That nigga dope though." In my head, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I nigga, "You know, that nigga just playing with us." I'm like, "That nigga dope though." That nigga. But I was trying to look away. That nigga dope though. That's when we did the video for. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, that's yeah, a Nightmare on Elm Street video. Yep. yep. Got, and that's, 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 that's the best be. video. That was the best Ever video to be, bro. Because we finally got a chance to really, like, yep. all of us really got a chance to vibe. That, that go ahead, y'all go. Mm. Like, you know. All right, let me go. I'll be back. Uh oh. <laughs> that's good, bro. That's good, okay. Right. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, it smells good, right? Hello. 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 And we got kicked off Soul Train. Mm. So, why did he get kicked off Soul Train? We were acting up that day. We were in that groove, boy. We was feeling ourselves, boy, and dropping rhymes that already came out. And it was a whole, like, the, you, you saw the guard change mm. from the stage dancers, like, you know, the uh, Chinese chicken audio. You saw the guard change mm. when we came with the high top fades and the gummies mm. and the new style, the new dress, mm. the valleys. Mm. Nigga, they ain't seen valleys in LA. Mm -hmm. So we came with that. Woo! Brody, it is the dips and all the stage dips start to look at us now. So now we're doing whatever we want to do. Like, we even dance on Saturday. We, we at the Soul Trader blowing Buddha, walking by everybody. We, oh. we, we out there. We so out there. We knocking dips. And uh, we were just acting up, mm. but it was kind of like almost a plan because the coordinator, as we leaving out the gate, he calls up, comes over, hey, could y'all find us some replacements for y'all or something? It was like, it, it helped both of us. Like, Bobby's getting kicked off, all of our name was buzzing. And then right after that, we took that trip mm. on the Amtrak the across group, the yeah. states. And, and then right after that, did Soul Train changed yeah. and everybody had to wear jeans on there. Yeah. When we yeah. they kicked us off, because yeah. we was going in and wearing our jeans, rocking, and right after that, beads, you know, the whole, this was like the 90s, 
kicked us off, then everybody on the show, that's, that was the, the requirement, that was the gear, is to get out there with the, with the, with the, with the you know, the African the yeah, Lions in the yeah. high top. Yeah. It was good stuff. It's a cold piece of work over there. <laughs> yeah, it's a cold piece of work, dude, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, just some scandalous stuff. Like, that's, that's the kind of, that's, that's L.A., and that's Hollywood to me. To me. This is where we at. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Because I hear, in this place right here, and, and another thing, like, to me, even when it comes to the dance world to me, like, the dance world to me is, like, it's so cutthroat right now. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing it was back in the day, Brody, when everybody was was, was dirty macking each other for, for the little crumbs. Like, here's some crumbs. I can take that crumb. They dirty macking for some little bullshit jobs. You feel what I'm saying, Brody? Of course, you know I know. You know, we was, <laughs> we was in Korea, I was hating it. I was hating it kind of, you know, when you got the new rookie dude sitting next to me. And I think I, when'd you put in work? You feel what I'm saying? When'd you, how you gonna sit here in this chair? You feel what I mean? It's like, it's like now, it's too easy, and I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cats get like, don't turn the dance game into Hollywood. You feel what I'm saying? Don't turn the dance game, like, it's not about that. It is too late, in a lot of ways, too. Woo. Because... It's the same thing with hip hop, dude. As soon as the as the corporations got into it, it changed the whole game. And as soon as all these these sponsors and corporations, and all that stuff got into it, everybody just now everybody think niggas be thinking they like Michael Jackson up in this piece. They thinking they like superstars up in here. Nigga, you just some motherfucking dancer, nigga. Yeah. You ain't even done nothing. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't even done nothing, nigga. You she think with you feel what I'm saying? Now. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Them is these cats ain't even done that. Aqua's one in the fucking contest. You think you did something because you won a stupid ass contest? Chick I work with right now. She's somebody. I she grew up hip hop dance in New York, and she's in her late 30s and didn't know not one OG. I mean, she like she started with whoever, you know, probably choreographed somebody the last two years and was like, yeah, that's my teacher. And I'm like, who is that? And she showed me typical dude had turned this way, please. At the polls, <laughs> he's, he's hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. And like, what even even like to me, like when they say hip hop, like hip hop dancer or hip hop, I hate that shit to me. Like, I'm, I'm getting tired of that shit. It's, it's so labelized, Brody. It's like anybody can say that. At. You know what I'm saying? It's not even no like. It's like your identity. You know what I mean? What do you do? Oh, I'm a hip hop dancer. What the fuck is that? You feel what I'm saying? What is that, really? Mm -hmm. When I start dancing, I was dancing in the living room to Teddy Pendergrass or Earth, Wind & Fire or something. That's not hip-hop. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, that's... No, we wasn't dancing. Our first routine was into no damn hip-hop legend. You feel what I'm saying? I just don't understand it now. And I, I like I, the journey, though. Yeah, but it is now where's it going? But see, it's crazy. Because, see, like, right now, like, how you feeling? I feel that way when I'm not around y'all. But, like, when I'm at with y'all right now, I'm at peace. Well, because that's what the dads do. I'm like, I'm happy right now. I'm with warriors right now. So it's like, I can't think about like the boo boo cats right now because I like, I'm just vibing like with y'all right now. But, so it's like, but we like, we, but I see that part of the game. Like, right. about which is the warriors though. I think about like the, the, the here and now. Like, for instance, even right here, Evolution Studio, right? I don't never come here. I go to Lula, Washington, which is the black sister who owns the biggest dance studio down there in LA, right? Like, look how big her shit fucking is. This is like, her shit's four of these. You could put four of these motherfuckers in her shit. Four of them. And she teaches African though. She teaches more all African, so you wouldn't need, it's not out there like that. You understand what I'm trying to say? But it's not out there like that because it's not needed right now. Right. And on one tip, you feel what I'm saying? But it's, it's just the fact that it's still like, you come here, go here, or go, you understand what I'm trying to say? But the real shit is not even, you don't, just like if I went to New York, I'm not going to go to the, what's Fazio Studios, about 50th and 8th Street, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I used to go, I'm trying to class of Fazio's, you know what I'm saying? You know, 50th and 8th Street, I taught a, I did a couple of workshops over there, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure there's some real hardcore shit that I don't even know nothing about. Just like there's different dudes that dances in New York, that's dope, that I, that I seen, that I don't hear about. You understand what I'm saying? Not taking nothing away from me. Of course. It's just there's dudes that you you see but you don't never hear. It's the same thing anywhere else you go. Real cast is really trying to get the like the skill, like just really in it for the skill. They're not out like we wasn't out. You didn't see us out going. We was at the clubs. There are clubs no more. 
They don't have clubs no more. Am I lying, no, Brody? I, no. There's no clubs no, no more to go to. They don't have clubs because nobody dances at the club. Right. Okay, that's what I'm tripping off of, right? And it's been on my mind. Because it's like when the cats, like, I always like to follow rules and regulations, right? So I'm watching, just starting, you know, Charlie Atkins. The cats was 60 years old doing the Jackson 5 routines. You know what I'm saying? Temptations. Gladys Knight. He did all those groups, right? OG, just the same. I'm thinking, you know, all of us should be doing, right? But the biggest, the coldest thing I had in the grown folks moment was when I was kicking it with Amari and the B2K dudes. And they got their chore choreographer, Dave Scott. He looked at them. It was like, well, why are you hiring me when you got Legend, Cliff, Stretch, all these cats right here at your access? And they had no answers. He said, they're still alive. I'm teaching you their moves. He's telling them right in their face, right in front of me. I'm teaching you their moves. Why are you hiring me? That's what Chris wants. That's, you know? So, that's the part of the game that I don't understand. Like, I always knew, like, we would be doing the same thing the Nicholas Brothers and all them cats was doing as they, when they got older. You know what I'm saying? I thought we was just automatically fell in line with somewhere the knowledge of something got wiped out or something, bro. Shock. No, we just choose not to no be a body boy and walk around thinking about no dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? We want to be, you know what I'm saying? We, just, we choose to be men. Yeah. And when you make that kind of choice, yeah. then. <laughs> You're stepping on toes, you know what I'm saying? Fun. That was packed, man. Yeah. Link. Yo, blessings, brother. Yes, yes. Good to have you guys here on the west side, man. Yeah. Blessings, brother. Oh, these are my LA brothers, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's going on yeah. out here? You good? Oh, yeah. So, so, where's this interview going? So, tell me, tell me, um, last thing, tell me, where are y'all at now, mindset? When it comes to what? Dancing wise? Of course. Like mine is, I'm made up my mind that I'm riding all the way out to the finish line. So like uh, I sat down before Fayard Nicholas passed. He uh, said you got to go all the way to the very end. And I noticed that he got to do a show two weeks before he died. He was like 94, and he did a full show two weeks before he died. My other uh, favorite, Jimmy Slide, he died two weeks before he died at 88. So I'm in it all the way. It's like I like it. I like the injuries. I like to adapt as I get older. I like that I'm still learning. And um, like watching cats like Pop and Pete that's, you know, got 10 years on me. So I can see how I'm going to be looking when I'm, you know, 54 or whatever and stuff like that. So I, I, I like it now. Yeah, of course. I'm not. When I'm in my space, when I'm in my warrior zone, now you said. Have you look at videos and stuff, you're gonna, you might get another answer. But as far as what my mind stays at right now, I, I'm enjoying the journey, the boogie journey. Where, where we are right now, I can tell you, as far as the Soul Brothers, um, the Soul Brothers as a, as, as a dance crew, I can say we haven't really parlayed nothing since 2000. I mean, I think as a dance crew, we just, everybody, is growing and still see dancing is just dancing is, is just one part of, of who you are. Just like I'm saying, just like you do beats. You feel what I'm saying? Like dancing has always just been one entity, one small little part of who I am. It's like, you know, I got music out, you know what I mean? I done wrote I have a TV show out about to come out. I write comedy skits. There's so much stuff that we it's, it's just one small thing, huh? You understand what I'm trying to say? It's a small little step. So I think it, I'm still growing into something. Yo, one of the gummies with the horses. Of what? <laughs> 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 my, my, man, my man threw my whole, my whole thieves not off. So Coming out looking something. like a cartoon keys character. Uh, something. Yeah, I'm just growing. Uh, we're still growing. Soul Brothers is still maturing. And we're still growing into something. We're still growing into ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's something that started in high school. You know, as a damn near joke almost, you know what I'm saying? It's like cats is like grown ass men. So it's a it's a grown man thing now. It's not it has nothing to do with um dancing is like riding a bike. I'm always gonna know how to do it. 
I still think I'm one of the flyest niggas on the planet, period. I think I'm one of the best hip hop dancers on the planet, period. Yeah. And ain't no nigga trying to, that's, that's how I think. And I got a couple of dudes that I like, uh, uh, Henry being one, and a couple of other dudes. I'm talking about pure hip hop dance. I'm talking about niggas trying to pop and all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Niggas be getting that shit confused though. They say hip hop dance, this niggas are popping, waving. I'm talking about, dude, <laughs> I'm talking about a real hip hop dancer. There's dudes I like, and Soul Brothers is still the top niggas to me on the West Coast. Period. And, if he, and 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 you can still come see me. I'm still the dude to come see. And still come if you want to debate that what I'm saying or anybody want to question that, you know. But that that's where we at. SBs is still the hottest niggas. Period. On the West. Period. You agree, Legend? I concur. Period. I know if I if, I, if I'm talking crazy, he gonna say something. So this is where we at. We yeah. still we still the top niggas to me. And no, I'm talking about belts and who got the belt and all that. We still the top. And then change, and then yeah. change, period. That's where we at. It doesn't matter about us judging your little dance contest or doing your little workshops. You know what I mean? We, we, you know, we on a whole nother level of the game, yo. You know what I'm saying? And we always down to do that, but, you know, we still growing and we still, I think we still the flies the cats and just like I still think Stretch and Henry and them and, and, and Jamil, they still the flies cats to me. And we still the flyest cat. And until somebody comes to show us differently, this is how I'm going to continue to think. Period. Yeah. So that's where we at. I definitely agree with that one. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Let's show me something different and I'll agree with you. Yeah. Until I see that, yeah. this is my attitude. Yeah. Let me go over here before we smoke yeah. me yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let me see something. I'm sorry. I, I'm not a hater. Yeah. I mean, I'm but if they come in and come in that's that's dope, I'm going to give it up to them. I but like, I ain't I mean, seen it yet, I so until like, I see it, then I'm gonna say I mean, something. I like I, I like Chris Brown a lot, but I know he can't be a linker of my man Kareem. Come on, man. I know it, like you know, there ain't nothing bad on my man. I like my man. I ain't no nobody, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, but know show me something. But I know he ain't that. <laughs> show, all I'm saying is show me something. But I know if he got with these, he would probably, you know, he have a chance. Yeah, we gonna spank his little ass, but just show me something. Show me something. Yeah. It's 2017. Yeah. Show me something. For all that, you know, this is what I did. This battle. Be consistent. <laughs> Be consistent. Dude, hey, a dude, a dude, a dude again, a dude is shine one time, and all of a sudden, dude is like, you the dude. come on, Brody. Yeah. Let me see consistency. That's you gotta go, you know, go why. ten and all. Go to ten and all. Seventeen and all. Go. If I do have a pet peeve within our warrior circle, not our circle circle, but cats on the outside of that, stop it with the old liquor store story, bro, shot. We don't know what you did in 1985, 86. You got to be doing something right now. Like, Man. the journey does not stop, bro. Like, you don't, you can't rub Boogie off you. You can't rub Cuddy Mackin off you. You know what Man. I'm saying? You got to... Keep going on with the journey because you did a dope move in '87. That was it. You did a dope move. You had a moment, man. You had the best. You know what I'm saying? What is it called? Is it? You got to go a, a moment. moment. A moment. You got a moment you in '87. Yeah. But it's like, bro, it's like, yeah. What are you doing now? Like, show me something. And all these little busters, yeah. all these little busters, going to these little one-time dance contests. I go for the mm -hmm. just the boots and all these mm -hmm. little dudes. Dude, come on, man. Like you know, even uh, our on, boy, uh, Omar, he probably ain't dancing no more, but he still got the vibe and could kick it with us. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to be talking about, yeah, remember I used to rip it up with Will Smith back in, you know, he ain't that tight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. he know, didn't know the game. And all you, you know? new, you, you so-called yeah. new school dudes, these new type dudes, you know what I'm saying? I don't know them either. Yo, I, I don't know them either. I'm just saying <laughs> what I see. Y'all need to really get, y'all need to learn. And start dancing to real hip hop. Y'all don't even know what real hip hop is. Y'all dancing. I be listening to dance. Somebody singing in the background. Get, get your fucking history right. Get get real hip hop now because, on music. Stop playing with yeah, it. Yeah, because stop playing. I'm, I'm just being real. I, niggas yeah. is playing with it. Okay, for and instance, right? They you we know, met the lockers, right? We all sensitive and shit. We met the Pants lockers. All tight. We met the gold. <laughs> you, meet, you meet old tab. I know it happened to you. I know it happened to you. You meet old tab dance or whatever. They can see you walking in the room from way across the room. They be like, you dance, don't you? I can tell by the way you walk. I can tell by the way your presence came. You came into the club. And that's what the that's the only thing I with the youngsters today. They don't come in to these dance